Hey, what's up you guys? Bring another action figure review to do. Let me re-say that. <laughs> what's up you guys? Eric AMG here bringing another action figure review to you. And this is a figure I have been highly anticipating. It took me a while to get him. I should have been had him weeks ago, but I went through some shipping issues with Walmart. I had to call them multiple times. They had to try to fix the situation and get the order out to me. But he's finally here. He arrived today. He's finally here. And I'm so psyched to review him. Because let me tell you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something now. This figure is absolutely amazing. I ain't even take him out of, the, out of the packaging yet. But just from me looking at him right now, he looks absolutely gorgeous. So... Let's get into the box. So he has his two swords, his two bladed weapons, which is what Ghost Maker should come with. That's how Ghost Maker looks inside the packaging. You see all the nice detail in his costume. You see his nice slick shoes or sandals or what, whatever kind of ninja thing he's wearing. You got DC Multiverse, Ghost Maker. You got the legalities at the bottom. If that helps anybody. You also got Ghost Maker on the side there. Ghost Maker, Future State, DC Future State, which he is not from DC Future State. I don't know why they said that. And here is his photograph. On the back, as you can see, some more towards the bottom. A nice action figure portrait of him. I really like that. This has Ghost Maker on the side here. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much. And on the top. And he has, it's for ages 12 plus and 22 moving parts. And there you have it. It's the Ghost Maker. So let me crack him out of the package and let's get into the review. And here's Mr. Ghostmaker out of the packaging, and he looks phenomenal. He looks, oh man, he looks better than I even originally thought he would. So, this figure is absolutely incredible. So let's jump right into it. I start off with accessories first. He comes with the trading card, same picture that's on the back of the box, which looks really cool. And he comes with a read up. Pause it, read it right there at your leisure. And it comes with this display stand that doesn't do jack, but staying your figure in place. Got the DC logo at the bottom. And he comes with his two bladed weapons his katana and a, I guess another shorter katana. And the detail on this is pretty dope. It's pretty nice. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, so that's really nice. And you can store his bladed weapons in the back of his two sheaths. So you put that one right there, and you put the longer one right there. Now he has his weapon stored, which looks absolutely amazing, absolutely fantastic. Now, I have to ding a half of a point because McFarlane left it exposed where you can see it in the back right there. You can see the swords in there instead of it just being completely black to hide that. So I'm going to have to ding it a little bit for that. but. Get into the figure himself first of all his head looks absolutely incredible this is what perfection from translating a character from a comic book to real life this is perfect you don't get no better than this and then you got the back of him and all this beautiful detailing in the cape and this neck part the cable to all this beautiful sculpt work what a beautiful sculpt in here. You have this little ghost maker sign there. Oh my goodness, that is just so dope. You have this here. Like, this is accurate 
I've been reading new uh, new Batman comics, and this is exactly how Ghostmaker looks. This is very, very accurate. This is this is damn near perfection translating Ghostmaker like this. He even got some nice sculpted pad in there, and in the back, of course, his legs. The nice black going through the white there. The nice baggy pants and wrinkles. Like, this sculpt work is absolutely incredible. This is absolutely phenomenal. This is just genius work right here. And you got his shoes. You, you got the white at the bottom. And you got the black there. Very nice detailing. And, and you got his shoes. This is just wonderful. This is absolutely wonderful. I don't know how you can get any better than this with Mr. Ghostmaker. I don't know how you can get any better. All right, so let's get into articulation with Mr. Ghostmaker. So, let's head from the left and to the right. So he can look up about that much, which is a pretty, pretty fair amount. He look down, all the way down. He does have attitude. His arms can go out about that much. It can go around 360. He has a swivel in his arm. He has a single jointed elbow that goes more than 90 degrees. He does have wrist and hinge rotation. He has an upper ball pad in his upper joint. You can get around, you can get pivoting. You can get all around motion. Also, also he has a lower waist twist that can go 360. He has a full, full karate split, as he should, because he is a martial arts master like Bruce Wayne. He can kick forward about that much. He can kick back about that much. There's no thigh swivel or leg swivel at all. There is a single, it's a single bend in his knee with these very large pants, that's very understandable. So that is no problem at all. And he does have a hinge rotation and a swivel. And he does have ankle pivot in his foot. And his foot does have a toe hinge. So that's articulation for Mr. Ghostmaker. And, and it's not bad, it is not bad. Okay. Emphasize comparisons. I have Ghostmaker uh, sized up next to my Silver Knight Mesco Batman. And Ghostmaker is about seven and a quarter inches, so it makes sense that he's taller than the Mesco Batman at his uh, six inches. And here I have him standing next to my custom uh, Mesco uh, DC Direct uh, New 52 Superman. And they're about the same height. Superman looks maybe a little, a little slightly taller than them, but they're basically about the same height. So, yeah. All right. So my final thoughts on Ghostmaker. He is a phenomenal figure. He is absolutely fantastic. He is incredible. I love this figure. I absolutely adore him. But I'm gonna nick a, a little bit. Um, because that sheath has the swords exposed and he, McFarlane having all their figures come with trigger fingers now for me that isn't a big deal but he could have just gave him regular open hands um, this is not a figure that uses guns not that I'm aware of Ghostmaker has never used guns so far in the comics that I've read Ghostmaker has not used one single gun he used his bladed weapons as you see right there that's all he uses in the comic books he's very effective and he's very efficient with it so I've never seen Ghostmaker use guns. But it's not just that. It says McFarlane has all his figures come with trigger finger hands. Um, and that's just lazy. He should, you know, switch it up a, a little bit. He also should start including uh, fisted hands. Because, I mean, this guy, he's a martial artist. I could have used some fisted hands for him. But aside from the trigger finger hands and the exposed sheath 
that exposes the swords, which I don't like that either. This is a very solid 9 out of 10. Um, I was going to give him a 9.5. Hell, I was going to even think about giving him a 10. But I can't ignore those two issues. He has trigger fingers. Like I said, the trigger fingers doesn't really bother me because he's still very effective in holding his swords. And his sword's in there very tightly, very securely, and I like that. So that's my review. This figure gets a 9 out of 10 with a badass seal of approval, as an Angry Joe would say. But yeah, this figure is really dope. This figure is outstanding. And yes, he gets a very, very solid 9 out of 10. The sculpt work on him is absolutely incredible and phenomenal. Every little detail on him is exactly from the comic book. He's a perfect example of translating a comic book character to life. And that is this Ghostmaker. So, hope you guys enjoyed my review. This has been my review of the DC Future State Ghostmaker. But he's not Future State. He came in um, Detective Comics after the uh, Joker War. That's where he comes from. He is not DC Future State. DC Future State is something else. And Ghostmaker was not a part of that. Not to my knowledge, anyway. He wasn't a part of that. He, can't, he debuted in uh, at the end of Detective Comics with Joker War. And that's where he originates from. So, that's been my review, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I got more reviews coming. I got more Marvel stuff coming. So, stay tuned for that. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook at Eric Hester. And um, I'm on TikTok. But, uh, yeah, I'm on TikTok, Eric AFG, if you want to follow that as well. Um, and until the next time, see you.